So last week, Evelyn Lozada made the announcement that she will not be returning for season 10 of Basketball Wives. Most of us could care less. Evelyn will not be missed. But now, announcements are being made of who will be returning to Basketball Wives. Let's get into it. Welcome back to another episode with your host, Tabitha. Here is where we have some straightforward discussions on political and social news, television show recaps, and of course, everyone's favorite, celebrity gossip. These discussions are to simply chat about what's happening in the world around us. The intent is not to be mean or malicious, but to remain informed on the more serious topics and to just have a little fun discussing the craziness that surround our favorite celebrities. So grab yourself a drink and a snack. Sit back and relax and enjoy the conversation. Hey, my beautiful souls, welcome back to another episode. I am your host, Tabitha, and we're here to talk about what's going on with the cast of Basketball Wives. There's a shakeup going on, but before we get into it, let me welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you've come across this video and are not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. We have a good time over here. We talk about a plethora of things, political news, social issues, and of course, celebrity gossip. And we have a good time doing it. When you hit that subscribe button, please make sure you hit that thumbs up. That thumbs up sends out a message to the YouTube gods that people are watching this video and it makes my video available for others to watch. Yes, there's a cash shake up happening over with Basketball Wives. Last week, Evelyn made the announcement that she will not be returning for season 10. She says she's opening up the door for other opportunities. She says doing reality TV is hard and it's not always the most positive. Mm -hmm. Not always the most positive, right? She didn't mention that she was the one that wasn't the most positive. Evelyn was toxic on Basketball Wives, bottom line. That was the persona and um, the attitude she chose to bring to Basketball Wives, right? But, yeah, I believe that Evelyn was not issued a contract for season 10. Could she come back? She said she can more than come back to the show if she chose to. I believe that. But I believe for season 10, she wasn't given a contract to return for season 10 because she is not liked by the majority of the fans of Basketball Wives. Um, She has been a source of a problem for years with Basketball Wives. And it just it just hit its peak when OG joined the cast. And she showed us her colorism. She showed us uh, a, a ugly side at the wrong time in America, right? Race relations was hot, right? And we are done dealing with not only racism, but we're done dealing with colorism. And Shawnee and Evelyn got dragged through the mud in how they treated OG relentlessly, relentlessly. So here we are. They came back for season nine. It was a limited season. And Shawnee and Evelyn and their mindset had not changed, had not improved. They had not grown mentally into how they contributed to the way OG was feeling and did not take accountability for that. So viewership for season nine had tanked. Tanked. Which is why I believe Evelyn was not issued a contract for season 10 and why it is also being reported that Shawnee O'Neal will be 
reduced to a limited capacity role for season 10. Yep, you heard it here. She has been reduced to a limited capacity role for season 10. So we won't expect to see Shawnee O'Neal on very many, many episodes of Basketball Wives. We don't know what's going on with Basketball Wives. Is it Dallas or Houston? Remember, in season nine, she let us know that she moved to Houston, supposedly to be closer to her children. Right. But in season eight, it was rumored that Shawnee O'Neal would not be returning as a cast member for season 10. She could come back as a cast member and lose her executive producer title. Or she can be an executive producer and not be a cast member. So they tried to shake us up for season 10 when she made appearances on Basketball Wives. But you know your girl, when she's tuned in to something, she don't forget. Here we are, season 10 coming up and Shawnee O'Neal's role is reduced to limited capacity. That's what this article is going to tell us. So let's get into it. Let's find out um, who will be returning to the show. And um, yeah, I got this article from Hollywood, uh, Hip Hollywood. And also I saw it being reported on ET online. So both links to the articles will be down in the description box. So you guys can check it out for yourself. I'm reading from HipHollywood.com. VH1 is shaking up the bas- the Basketball Wives roster hot on the heels of the news that veteran cast member Eleve- El- Evelyn Lozada is leaving the show. Hip Hollywood has learned exclusively that the network is bringing back some familiar faces to the franchise. Brooke Bailey, British Williams, DJ Duffy, and Angel Brinks have all been given offers to return for season 10. We're told the four ladies in particular have all said yes and filming is set to start soon. Now, Brooke, the seasons that Brooke Bailey, British Williams, DJ Duffy and Angel Brinks, I did not watch. Um, I think I exited when Angel Brinks was being introduced Right. I think that's when I stopped watching it. And then I picked it back up when um, the Miami ladies, Jennifer Williams, Tammy Roman and Evelyn Lozada had migrated over to Basketball Wives L.A. When Brooke Bailey, British Williams, DJ Duffy and Angel Brinks were were on the show, it was Basketball Wives L.A. And Jennifer Williams, Evelyn Lozada, Tammy Roman, they were on the Basketball Wives Miami franchise. Uh, That show tanked because of how they fought and how they bullied other cast members on that show. Evelyn, Tammy, Jennifer, they destroyed that show and VH1 shut it down. And then next thing you know, uh, these particular ladies from the Miami franchise ended up migrating to the L.A. franchise. And they changed the title from Basketball Wives L.A. to just Basketball Wives. Moving on. They, they being Brooke Bailey, British Williams, DJ Duffy and Angel Brinks will join cast members Jackie Christie, Malaysia Pargo, Jennifer Williams, and twins Nia and Noriah Dorsey. Now, I don't know Nia and Noriah Dorsey. They showed up on the scene last season, and y'all know I cut it last season. I probably recapped a couple of episodes, but I could not stand the fact that Shawnee O'Neal and Evelyn Lozada did not take accountability for their actions and how they treated OG. It completely turned me off from the show. But I kept up with the show through other content creators, Yocrates, Really B, um, Alexander Rogers, just to name a few. 
right? And so they are new to basketball wives, Nia and Naraya Dorsey. Now, what's interesting is that they didn't mention, remember last season, we were also introduced to Lamar Odom's ex, right? They didn't mention her as coming back to the show. Now, could be she may just be in a friend capacity. But I thought Nia and Naraya was also in a friend capacity, but I could be wrong. I didn't watch. I wasn't 100 percent tuned into the show directly last season. Y'all can educate me down um, in the comments. Moving on. Per the source, executive producer Shawnee O'Neill will appear in a limited capacity and is, quote, focused on creating new and fresh content through her production deal with the network, end quote. Now, that kind of like confirms for me, for me, you guys may have a different opinion and you guys can let me know down in the comments. But that statement, that quote alone confirms for me what was said at the end of season eight, that catastrophic season. When it was being rumored that Shawnee could either come back as an executive producer and not be in front of the camera or she could come back in front of the camera and lose her executive producer, her executive producer title. Uh huh. Let me read the quote for you again. Per the source, executive producer Shawnee O'Neill will appear in a limited capacity and is, quote, focused on creating new and fresh content through her production deal with the network, end quote. Many of us have been saying for years, why is Shawnee executive producer and showing up in front of the camera? She was also a source of problematic behavior amongst the ladies on the show. She was the puppet master. And stirring up a lot of drama on the show. Jennifer Williams has been um, voicing that heavily over the past couple of seasons. And how Shawnee has been stirring up a lot of the drama on the show. And then it was it was frustrating because she's the executive producer, right? And then you're showing up at, as a cast member, stirring up drama and then the ladies can't get with your ass for fear that you would tell them, like you told Brandy Maxwell, thank you for your services. You can't do both. It's not fair. You should be held accountable to the same standard as anyone else and getting their ass served to them for stirring up drama on the show. So that's interesting. You guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Bailey, Williams, Duffy, and Brinks all appeared on previous seasons of the spinoff series, Basketball Wives LA. I just gave y'all a history and how um, it all came about. A source close to production also revealed that Basketball Wives alum, Brandy Maxill, may also rejoin the series for season 10. Y'all remember Brandy? Brandy and Malaysia were Ace Boone Coons. They were best friends. Right. And then Brandy told Shawnee to her face that she was a bitch. Shawnee told Brandy, thank you for your services. And we didn't get to see Brandy after that season. That's what I mean by Shawnee. Wants to be presented as a cast member, but don't want her ass served to her for the shit that she does. And says on the show. Brandy got with her. And Shawnee being an executive producer. That's sort of like a boss role. Right? A, not many people can tell. Go up to their boss. And say you're a bitch. And expect to keep their job. So that was a huge problem. That most of us who watched Basketball Wise faithfully at that time. That's a problem that we all had because in that moment, Shawnee was being a bitch. But you can't go up to your boss 
and, and call your boss a bitch and still expect to have a job. To me, it wasn't fair. The dual roles that Shawnee was playing. Just my opinion. Y'all let me know. Moving on. Um, like I said, Brandy uh, is is uh, it's being put out there that she may rejoin the, the cast for season 10. And that would be interesting because I believe that Malaysia and Brandy are no longer friends like that. No longer friends like that. So it would be interesting to watch the the dynamics between those two. Maxil was a cast member on Basketball Wives LA and appeared on season six of Basketball Wives. As for Lazada, she told E! News, Evelyn Lazada did that one hour long interview where she made the announcement that she would not be returning for the upcoming season, which I believe is season 10. And, you know, she was telling us that reality TV is hard and she wanted to open up to the universe for new opportunities to come her way. What those opportunities will be, I don't know, maybe um, sponsorship from Flat Tummy T. <laughs> I don't know, child. But... um As for Lazada, she told E! News, I think that it's time for me to open up the universe to other things. And it's been a hard decision because I can do it with my eyes closed. But it's so difficult and it takes so much energy and it's not the most positive energy. Lazada had a a rough few seasons battling a her on again off again bff jennifer williams she's also had tiffs with longtime frenemy tammy roman and was under fire for comments she made for um to cc gutierrez that fans considered racist completely forgot about with all of the issues that she had with og completely forgot the racist comments that she made about cc Remember, she called she she hurled that racist slur at Cece, called her Ling Ling. Remember that? Mm-hmm. She got dragged for that, and then she kept going on and ended up getting um in this tiff with OG. Well, this not drag out, knock down, drag out battle with OG, where she um showed her colorism, right? Moving on, not to mention she's been in an ongoing legal battle with OG. I thought the, the, the battle between OG and Evelyn was over. I thought the judge threw out Evelyn's case. Y'all educate me down below. I didn't, I didn't know there was still real a legal battle going on between Evelyn and OG. Evelyn got her feelings hurt when OG um, called out her colorism and I believe she tried to file a defamation lawsuit against OG but I thought that was thrown out y'all educate me down below as a result Lazada says it's time to let go sometimes you have to say quote all right I gotta walk away from this end quote I have to close that door she said so there you have it those who were watching uh, the seasons and and liked Brooke Bailey, British Williams, Angel Brinks, and DJ Duffy, they will be returning to the show. And you guys let me know, being that they're returning to the show, will you now be watching season 10 of Basketball Wives? I know a lot of people who um, follow me over on this channel have equally been turned off by basketball wives as I have. And they have been voicing that the the show just needs to be canceled altogether. Does this change for you? Let me know down in the comments. And what about Brandy Maxill? Would you welcome her back? If she comes back, would you be interested in watching the show? I'm completely turned off by basketball wives. I won't be watching season 10. I won't be watching season 10. 
But I want to know what it is that you guys think. And especially now that Shawnee O'Neal, her presence on the show in front of the camera will be reduced dramatically. Will that entice you to watch the show? Let me know. Down in the comments is where we continue the conversation. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you for tuning in to the conversation. Make sure you subscribe and rate the episode. And to stay connected with Tabitha, head on over and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Tabitha. And you can also follow on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All the links will be available in the more info box. Until next time, be good to yourselves and each other. And each other.